Hello and welcome to another part of my N64 collection. You see this little 3DS? And believe me, it will take a part in this little video. So, just continue the next games. Blast Corps, an awesome great game. Um, the rule is really simple, whereas a truck with um, radioactive explosives and uh, you have to kill the city to make it free room, free drive. Um, so it can't hurt the city if you kill it first. Maybe it doesn't make really sense. Um, but it's a great, great game. It's a very good N64 game. I recommend it very hard. <laughs> so, the next one. Pokemon Puzzle League. Um, yeah, if you are not satisfied with so many Buster Move clones and so many other games, this is a Pokemon themed puzzle game. That's all. That's really all. Um, so, if you like it, what's your type of game. It's okay, but it's nothing special. Oh, the good, the good sports games. Nagano Winter Olympics 98. This is similar to the old Winter Games. Um, an okay collection, I think. It's um, playable, but it's not the, the greatest sports compilation. But... Uh, if you are keen with it, it's okay. It's it's worth to have it. <laughs> and the opponent track and field summer games. The same thing for the summer sports. Um, it's okay. It's decent. If you are keen with his games, it's it's okay to to get it. Ah, do you know Command and Conquer, the amazing RTS from Westwood? was on the N64. Hmm? I didn't know that either, but uh, now I own it. And it's uh, it's an okay port. Um, it's not in the same league like the PC version, of course, um, but it's okay. It's playable. It's a, this, this RTS uh, works even with a controller and uh, it's it's very similar. I know it was a StarCraft game for the N64, but it's, I think it's really, 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 really rare. Um, but, but but this game is, is okay. It's, it's worth to have it. Forsaken for the N64 and this version... No. Do yourself a favor and don't get it. If you are very hard on, hard on collecting, so maybe you have it, but this Forsaken version is on the N64 not great. Believe me, it's not great at all. <laughs> uh, virtual Chess uh, 64 uh, chess game for the N64. Don't ask me why I have it, maybe I'm a douchebag. Um, as a collector, it's interesting because it's uh, not very common, but um, as a player, uh, no, skip it. So I told you I have some ISS games for the N64. This is International Superstar Stocky, uh, Soccer 64, and this is International Superstar Soccer 98, so I get all three games uh, of this great franchise and once again I tell you this soccer or football games on the N64 are better than the FIFA series on this console. On other console it's uh, different. I think today I'm absolutely a FIFA fanatic. Um, but all three games are very very good. Wave Race 64. You know, all games on the N64 sound 64. It's okay. It's playable. It's it's really nice. I think it was one of the first starters for this console. Um, it's okay. It's really okay. It's it's playable. It makes a lot of fun. 
So get it. Destruction Derby 64. Yeah, so it was a Destruction Derby uh, on the N64 and this is the version. And believe me, it's really good. It's really, really, really good. It's If you are interested in some kind of with racing or wrecking racing um, games, this is really good. This is a very strong port. So, if you are an N64 fan, do yourself a favor and get it. World Cup 98. Um, FIFA again. This is the World Cup. Um, I think this was France, I think. Yeah, of course, where is a France 98. So, uh, this is the FIFA version of um, the World Cup 98 with a lot of national teams. It's okay. It's once again, it's, it's FIFA standard. If you know what FIFA stands for and Electronic Arts and EA Sports, you know what you get and this is a really good version. Holy Century Magic! Um, as a kid I was not so uh, happy with this game, but uh, till now I think it's, it, it's, more, it's better, it's okay, it's an... Um, 3D RPG, um, very basic, very okay. Um, it's not the high quality RPG stand standard, but it's okay. If you are interested in, in these kind of games, for the N64, uh, well, not so many uh, RPGs like this, so uh, this is really uncommon. So, if you want to play it, it's worth it. NBA hang time. Once again an NBA game. And this is okay. This is really an okay basketball. Uh, so if you're a fan of sports games, this may be your kind of game. Just test it. Another racer. Wipeout 64. It's a wipeout game for the N64. Um, I know where a lot of people didn't know there was a wipeout on the N64, but this is a not a strong port. It's playable, it's okay, but um, wipeout was fast uh, and furious, ha ha ha, um, and very deadly, and this is um, not so great. So um, I think this is not the greatest port, no. It's okay, but uh, wipe out. It's a PlayStation game and not on the N64. Tonic Trouble from Ubisoft. And maybe you can call it as a precessor of a Rayman series. It's really crazy. It's really strange. Has a very corny humor. Um, but it's uh, the, the camera is, is worse, of course. Uh, same thing like the most of the N64 games. Absolutely bad uh, camera. Um, but it's it's okay. It's it's really interesting. I think it's a jump and run platform game like Rayman, of course. And uh, it's it's really strange. There's a lot of uh, strange humor. Believe me, it's worth to look it up. And now, coming to the 3DS standards. If you are a Star Fox fan and you're a fan of Star Fox 64 in Europe, better known as Lilith Wars, do some uh, copyright issues or something like this typical bullshit. Um, and this is a really good rail shooter. But if you are the new generation, when you get Star Fox 64 3D, it's an awesome port, it's a good remake, it's very playable, it's very interesting. It's, it's a must-have if you have a 3DS. And now, the final. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Maybe the best Zelda game of all. Better than Zelda 1, better than Link to the Past. This is the living legend. And the N64 version is so damn 
great. But where is something else? Majora's Mask. And I know where a lot of people think, um, like myself, uh, for some years, this is not a great game, this is not a great port. Um, but I think it's more adult than Ocarina of Time. But like us, you know, where's Ocarina Time? Ocarina of Time 3D with Master Quest and if you are a really strange collector here was Master Quest as well and I think and the today's question for you guys not only which game from the N64 do you like on the 3DS do you think I push them apart to do it more accurate Zelda and Ocarina this is Ocarina of Time and this is is it the same with Zelda 1 and Zelda 2? This is the legend, but this was the game that pushed the series to the next level. I think it's the same with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So write in the comments not why Ocarina of Time is the best game of the world, maybe the best game not only of a Zelda franchise, maybe one of the best games of all time. Why has Orca, uh, Majora's Mask the pushed the limit to the new Zelda standard? I believe there are a lot of guys out there who think, what is the douchebag talking? But I think it's the same thing. Zelda 2 did so many things for the Zelda franchise that Zelda 1 can't do. So write in the comments, tell me what you think. And we'll see us next week. If you like, please rate, subscribe, or leave a comment. And see you next week. Bye bye.